This video will show you how to set up desktop access and port forwarding on your computer for your FTT 720p Wi-Fi camera. If you have already configured desktop access and know how to access your camera's web UI, please skip ahead to 5 minutes and 30 seconds to learn how to set up port forwarding. The FTT web interface will enable you to access its features and settings on your local network using Internet Explorer, Mozilla Firefox, or Safari on Windows or Mac. This method of accessing the camera's interface is necessary to set up remote desktop access. Before you begin, please ensure that the following items are completed. First, make sure that the camera is connected to the network via an Ethernet cable. You can skip this step if you have already set up the camera on Wi-Fi using the FTT View App Setup method. Also ensure the camera and the PC are on the same network. In order to access the FTT web interface, please ensure that you have one of the following web browsers installed to your computer. Internet Explorer, Mozilla Firefox, or Safari. The Google Chrome support is currently in development. To access the camera's interface, insert the included CD into your CD drive. Navigate to your CD-ROM drive. Click on the first folder named 01 underscore search tool. For digital download, please visit the support section on fdt.us or see video description. Select the appropriate software for your operating system. For this demonstration, we will be using a Windows PC. Right-click Search Tool for Windows. In the drop-down menu, click to open WinRAR. If you do not have WinRAR, please download the software using the following link. Click the Search Tool, then click on the Search Tool underscore Setup. A warning sign may appear with the following message. Click the Yes button. Installation will start immediately with the wizard. Continue clicking the Next button. Click the Install button when prompted. On the final screen of the Setup Wizard, ensure the Launch Search Toolbox is checked and click Finish. The Search Tool interface will appear. Click the Next button to continue. On this screen, a camera list will appear. There will only be one IP address listed unless more than one camera is connected to your network. Select your camera's IP address and double-click it. This will launch the FDT web interface to your default browser. Next, log into the camera using your login credentials. Default username and password are both admin. If this is your first time logging into the camera by default account, you will be prompted to change the default password. Please select a password that is at least eight characters long, as well as a combination of uppercase and lowercase letters and numbers. Click the Change Password button when done. The camera is now successfully set up for live viewing, playback, and configuration on the FDT web interface. If you are using Mozilla Firefox or Internet Explorer to access your FDT camera, Please install the OCX web plugin located above the login portal. This plugin is necessary for using the camera's web interface. The browser will prompt you to allow the plugin to work on your computer. Click the Yes button. Click Install to download the plugin. The camera is now successfully set up for live viewing, playback, and configuration on the FDT web interface.
Another way to access the FDT web interface is by inputting the IP address of the camera in the URL address bar on the web browser. You can find the IP address of your camera in the search tool. This enables you to access the FDT web interface by HTTP protocols. To complete port forwarding, your camera will need to be accessed via a web browser on a PC or Mac. Using the FTT web interface, the camera's advanced settings will need to be configured. Before we begin, please ensure the following items are accessible. PC or Mac. Internet access. Access to the FTT web interface. And access to the router's web interface. Some routers vary in restrictions from other basic routers, and some require the Internet Service Provider, or ISP, to make changes on their end. They can be very secure and require port forwarding to allow a device to contact servers and networks outside the local network. Most routers today have universal plug-and-play, or UPNP, which automatically allows the camera to establish a functional and secure connection to other devices not connected to the local network such as your phone or work computer. Let's begin with the initial setup and login process. First, ensure your router is connected to the camera wirelessly or with an Ethernet cable. Once your camera is connected to the Internet, access the FDT web interface where the advanced settings can be configured. Please refer to the FDT camera desktop access setup video to learn how to access the FDT web interface if you have not already. Next, we need to change the HTTP port number. Open the Configuration tab. On the left panel, click on Network. Then click on the subheading Network. Under IP type, click on the drop-down menu and change DHCP to Static. The options IP address, subnet mask, and gateway will appear. Take note of the IP address and the gateway IP address. You will need this information for future steps. Next, change the HTTP port number to a number ranging between 1024 to 49151. Click the Apply button. Using a port in this range will avoid any conflicts with other programs. Port numbers under 1024 and above 49151 are reserved for other programs. Take note of your port number. You will need it for future steps. The camera will restart and be unavailable for about one minute. Close out the FDT web interface window. Now we need to enable the UPnP or DDNS. First, open the FDT search tool. Click on the refresh button on the top right corner of the search tool. Under the port column, you will notice the number has been updated with the new HTTP port number you selected in the previous steps. Double click on your IP camera. The FDT web interface will open in your primary web browser. Log in with your credentials as usual. Alternatively, to access the FDT web interface, you can open a new tab and insert the IP address into the address bar, followed by a colon with the new HTTP port number you just changed. For example, IP address, colon, HTTP port number. Log in with your credentials as usual. Open the Configuration tab. On the left panel, click on Network. Select the DDNS to ensure the UPnP is enabled. The next step is optional. Enable 3P 
DDNS if you have an account or wish to create one with any of the listed servers. Please note, no-ip.com is free. Finally, let's set up port forwarding. Depending on the type of router you are using, the next steps will vary. For instructions specific to your router, open a new tab in your browser and go to portforward.com. On the left-hand side, under the heading Router, click on Port Forwarding Guides. The routers are listed in alphabetical order. Scroll down and find your router. In this video, we are referencing to the Cisco Linksys E1200. This site provides a full guide on how to port forward with your specific router. Then, click on the default guide link as shown here. Keep this tab open. You will need it for the steps in this section. Open another tab on your browser. Insert the gateway IP address you noted earlier into the address bar to access your router's interface. Reference back to the portforward.com website for specific instructions on your router. First, click on the Applications and Gaming tab. Make sure you're in the sub-tab for Single Port Forwarding, or sometimes called Virtual Server. Name your port forwarding rule. Input the HTTP port number in the external and internal port fields. For the protocol, select both, as the camera uses both TCP and UDP. Input the IP address of the camera in the To IP Address field and check Enable. Then click the Save Settings button. Go back to the FDT web interface. Click on Network. Then click on DDNS. Click Query to discover the external IP address. Wait a moment for the external IP address to appear. Write down this number. To ensure that the FDT web interface can be accessed from a different device connected to another network, please perform the next step. Insert the external IP address followed by a colon and the HTTP port number into the URL in a web browser. Or, if you have an account with DDNS, type your DDNS address followed by a colon and HTTP port number in the address bar. If you are unable to access your camera, check to see if the ports are open by navigating to canyouseeme.org. Type in the port you wish to check. Click the Check Port button. It will take a few seconds to check whether it succeeded or failed. If it fails and it has been successfully port forwarded, Please get in touch with your ISP as there may be other blocks or boundaries created by the ISP. Thank you for watching.